The defense has always been looking for some significant innovations. Technology advancement in every field is the reason for the industry's success. The launch of new weapons is enhancing the defense sector. And today, we'll be talking about the RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile. So let's begin. The RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile, or RAM, is a compact, quick-reacting, fire-and-forget missile created to eliminate asymmetrical surface and air attacks and anti-ship cruise missiles. The US and German governments jointly created the RIM-116 RAM program, and this collaboration has continued in its production and maintenance. Three RIM-116 variants are now available, Block Zero RIM-116, Block 1A, RIM-116B, and Block 2, RIM-116C. Production on Block 0 and 1A is finished. The RAM Block 2 version is now being produced at full pace. A high firepower, low-cost self-defense weapon opposing anti-ship Tomahawk missiles as well as other unconventional situations is the RIM-116 RAM. Regarding terminal interaction, the Block Zero arrangement switches from radio frequency or RF direction to infrared IR direction. Block 1A counters sophisticated anti-ship Tomahawk missiles without internal radar seekers by adding the capacity of independent IR all the way navigation. To mitigate threats from maneuverability and low likelihood of capture, the Block 2 missile offers mechanical and navigation upgrades. It has a propulsion section improvement, a more powerful, composite case launch motor, an evolved radio frequency or ERF transmitter, and a control section enhancement, four canards versus two for Block 1A. Initial operating capability or IOC for RAM Block 2 was attained in May of 2015. In November of 2018, authorization for normal wage manufacturing was obtained. A contract with West Germany and Denmark from July of 1976 allowed General Dynamics, Pomona, and Valley Systems units to build the RIM-116. The USN joined as the project's leading partner when Denmark withdrew. Onboarding the warship USS David R. Ray in the late 1980s, the Mark 49 missile was tested. The first 30 missiles were constructed in FY85 and went into service on the USS Peleliu on November 14th of 1992. The RAM Mark 31 Guided Missile Weapon Framework comprises the Rolling Airframe Missiles, the Mark 49 Guided Missile Launching System, or GMLS, and Supported Equipment, or GMWS. The Mark 144 Guided Missile Launcher, GML unit, has a carrying capacity of 21 missiles and weighs 5,777 kilograms, or 12,736 pounds. The initial weapon must always be connected with the ship's combat system to be directed at targets because it cannot use its detectors before shooting. It's incorporated with the Mark I or Mark II derived ship self-defense system, SSDS, and AN-SWY-2 ship defense surface missile system, or SDSMS fighting capabilities on American ships. A military system called the CRAM that has autonomous detectors is also being tested. The Raytheon Mark 49 GMLS with a capacity of 21 Mark 44 guided missile round packs fires the RIM-116 GMRP. The Mark 31 guided missile weapon system comprises Mark 49 and Mark 44. The Mark 31 GMWS is the world's most technologically advanced ship self-defense weapon system and was created primarily to offer defense for boats of various sizes. The system is currently installed on more than 165 vessels across seven fleets, from massive aircraft carriers of the Nimitz class to the much more compact rapid assault craft. Over 3,400 RIM-116 missiles and 180 platforms are now stationed in the United States and German warships. The Ford class, CVN-78 class ocean liner, the littoral combat ship, and the LHA-6 America class amphibious landing ship are a few new fleet classes that have been fitted. Defense is the reason we are fearlessly living in this world. No matter how potent the weapons can be, the people there sacrifice their lives. Before we move forward in the video, don't forget to like, share, comment your views below on this, and also remember to subscribe to our channel Freedom Fast to get regular updates. On June 24th of 2008, the United States and Germany agreed to collaborate on manufacturing RIM-116B missiles, platforms, and ammunition modifications. By March 19th of 2013, the US and Germany agreed to jointly construct Block 2 missiles, rockets, and ORD ALTs while supporting Block 1 variant missiles until 2019. This agreement was known as the Block 2 Production MOU. The RIM-116 is used by 30 German and several American warships. The RAM will be installed on every new German naval vessel, including the Braunschweig class plates, each with two RAM rockets. 
the RAM has been installed on the latest Ultra Vita class rapid attack vessel by the Greek Navy. Agreements again for the KDX-2, KDX-3 and Dokdo class South Korea has inked amphibious assault vessels. Block Zero the AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile's rocket nozzle, detonator, and payload were employed in the initial iteration of the missile known as Block Zero. For example, the passive radar of an approaching anti-ship missile might be used by Block Zero missiles to first zero in on the objective. The rockets would switch to an invisible seeker adapted from the FIM-92 guided munition for terminal navigation. The Block Zero missiles had more than 95% hit rates during test sackings. Block 1 Block 1, RAM-116B, is an updated version of the RAM missile, which includes an all-in-one thermal imaging navigation system that permits it to engage missiles without radar. The radar tracking skills of the Block Zero have already been kept. The RAM Block 2 missile is an improved RAM missile designed to fend off more agile anti-ship missiles. Raytheon Missile Systems received a $105 million group's business from the US Navy on May 8th of 2007, with a deadline of December 10th of 2010. Starting in 2012, initially 51 missiles were purchased. To test the Ram Block 2's command and management characteristics, mechanical performances, navigation tools, and structural abilities, the framework recently performed its third guided technology demonstrator flight on October 22nd of 2012, launching two missiles in a salvo and striking the target. Even during the project's combined trial phase, Raytheon was supposed to provide 25 Block 2 rockets. The Block 2 Ram arrived in the United States. Launching Apparatus the Mark 31 guided missile armament system consists of the Mark 44 interceptor cartridge pack and the Mark 49 driven vertical launch device, both of which can launch 21 missiles. The technology is made to be simple to implement into a variety of ships, and a wide range of available ship detectors can quickly provide the target and aiming information necessary to counter the anti ship danger. Cooperation on a global scale a multinational partnership involving Germany and the United States produced the RAM defense system. The German firms LFK, DBD, and RAM SES, as well as Raytheon Missiles and Defense, split the creation, manufacture, and support expenses. The GMRP for the RAM system is now being produced under license in Korea. The Mexican Navy received an RAM launcher from Raytheon Missiles and Defense in 2018 as part of the POLA program for protracted offshore naval vessels. It marked the first time a RAM product had been delivered to a country in Latin America. The US and German authorities collaborated on the research, manufacturing, and in-service of the RAM 116RAM. With more than 5,000 missiles manufactured throughout the program, the RIM-116RAM is fully up and running in the US, German and Allied navies, including South Korea, Greece, Egypt, UAE, Turkey and Japan. In addition to becoming both implemented on the majority of the incoming USN ship classes, LHA-6, CVN-78 and FFG-X, RAM is implemented globally via the Mark 15 Mod 32C RAM Close-In Weapon System, or CIWS, as well as the Mark 49 RAM Guided Missile Launching System, or GMLS, on some more than 100 ships, tending to range from short Navy vessels to naval vessels. In addition, the RAM-116RAM is used on DDG, 64-71-75-78, and LCS ship classes equipped with the Mark 15 Mod 33C RAM CIWS and Mark 15 Mod 31C RAM CIWS, respectively. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll be back with another video very soon. Please like, share, and comment on this video, and also remember to subscribe to our channel, Freedom Fast. Until then, take care.